This is Witch Based News for Friday the 14th of July 2023 ...I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous News this week ...the Buckyball Racing Club are hosting a live racing event this weekend We've some awesome guides to Odyssey's on foot conflict zones, Azimuth Biotech offers new pre-engineered weapons in this weeks community goal and more. As always if you enjoy our videos please do hit the like button and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any of our Elite Dangerous content. You can also join our Patreon if you'd like to help directly support our work. Links to that and everything else are below. We start this week with an advisory or a reminder in case you'd forgotten that if you own and operate a fleet carrier and are in need of the tritium wonder fuel used to drive and power the colossal mobile base of operations then you don't have to source and ship it yourself. The Tritium Monkeys are a tritium supply and refuelling community specifically geared around keeping commander owned uber vessels in the live game, online and mobile around the bubble and colonia regions. If you're in the bubble or colonia and are looking for carrier refuelling or a larger delivery of tritium then for a fee the Tritium Monkeys will attend and deliver whatever you need. The service uses a slick ticket based system via their discord server which you'll find linked in the description below this video. The Tritium Monkeys are distinctly different from an emergency service such as the Fuel Rats in that they are a populated space tritium delivery service. Think of them as like Uber Eats but for tritium. If your carrier has exhausted its supply of tritium and is stuck out in the black away from populated space then you're not out of options there however. The ever resourceful Elite Dangerous community has of course a solution for that as well. For deep space tritium supply depots or emergency tritium supply and rescue then you need to call the Strategic Tritium and Rescue Initiative or STAR for short. The STAR initiative is an allegiance of carriers and commanders drawn from the Fleet Carrier Owners Club, the Deep Space Support Array, the Fuel Rats and the Hull Seals tasked with maintaining and supplying carriers in need outside of populated space. You'll find their services as part of the Fleet Carrier Owners Club Discord which is again linked below this video. In a unique break with their traditional week long time trial style events the Buckyball Racing Club is this weekend running an informal live ship, SLF and SRV race in Odyssey. The event will feature a simple figure of 8 race around the base of two mountains on planet 5C of the Wolf 1060 system the precise location of which is on screen now with ships, fighters and SRVs all participating in their own races all at the same time on the same track. Beautiful madness. The event will run on Saturday the 15th of July between 1500 and 1700 hours UTC with each heat expected to last around 8 minutes or so. To get the full details and to participate yourself then head to the live racing channel in the Buckyball Racing Club's Discord server a link to which you'll find at the bottom of the club's website which is linked below this video. I stumbled across two guides in Elite Dangerous Odyssey's on foot portions this week that absolutely answer all the questions you may have around on foot conflict zones and on foot PvP but were perhaps too afraid to ask. Both guides were created after extensive research by Commander Tocqueville of the Elite On Foot Combat Community Discord server and are incredibly detailed. The guide to beginner warmongering covers every conceivable aspect of on foot conflict zones and detailing everything from how the zones work, what tactics and equipment to use and what rewards and effects you can expect from participation. 
The PvP guide as you'd expect covers the player vs player option within combat zones, how to deal with survivability, recommended builds on both suits and weapons, time to kill ratios for various builds and even the relative projectile travel times. Individually the two documents are incredibly useful and informative. Collectively they are an awesome body of work and essential reading for both experienced players and anyone thinking of jumping into PvE or PvP conflict zones for the first time. You'll find links to the guides themselves and the Elite On Foot Combat Community Discord server linked below. The now definitely not evil and only just wants to help Azimuth Biotech is running a duo of community goals this weekend, the rewards for which include pre-engineered gimbaled AX multi cannons. The mega corporation under their previous administration produced such hits as kidnapping, forced human experimentation, attempted xenocide and who can forget that timeless classic mass murder. In a genius business move Azimuth having been the pivotal player in the initiation of the war with the Thargoids are now in the position to become the galaxy's premier supplier of weapons to the entrenched galactic community to help fight that war. Azimuth are planning on hosting a business convention that will feature guest representatives from research groups, manufacturing companies and military forces. The soon to be Azicon will also serve as the commercial launch for the companies latest bug splattering hardware the auto loader gimbaled AX multi cannon. As the name suggests the new weapon is a pre engineered version of the gimbaled AX multi cannon that features the auto loader experimental effect that gives a near seamless transition between magazines allowing for almost continuous fire. The cannons also come pre engineered with the overcharge modification upping their available damage output at the cost of thermal load, distributor draw and magazine size. The dual headed CG features rare goods delivery and bounty hunting portions and there are medium and large versions of the new weapons up for grabs to the upper tier participants in the goal. It's expected that the weapons will go on general sale at azimuth outlets shortly after the goal is concluded. If you want to get involved in the community goal this week then I've linked to the Inara pages summarising the goals below. Inara can tell you what system to head to, what rares to transport and where to obtain those rares. As always the CGs run until next Thursday unless their goals are met before. Will you be racing live against other commanders in the Buckyball event this weekend? Are you considering jumping into Odyssey's on foot arenas for the first time or will you be looking to earn some new bug splatting guns in this weeks community goal? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 commanders follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.